Dryads and Hamadryads are two types of wood nymphs in Greek mythology. These female nature spirits were thought to inhabit trees and forests, and they were especially fond of oak trees. The Hamadryads were vulnerable, for it was believed that their lives depended on the health and well-being of the trees they inhabited. They are very shy and non-violent, so they are never more than a few feet away from their individual tree. Unless they are surprised, dryads can disappear by stepping into a tree. The Misto was a very beautiful dryad, and she lived in a hundred-year-old oak tree. This aged tree sat on the land of Master Alessandro, a wealthy and handsome young textile merchant. He didn't know that Themisto lived in the tree and ignorantly went about his business. As a really shy nymph, Themisto was rarely seen out of her abode. Her brown skin and flowy green breasts blended in well with the oak tree, making her almost invisible. However, she was fascinated with the human world and with Miss Master Alessandro in particular. I feel so lonely sometimes. How lovely it would be to talk to Master Alessandro and learn more about their kind, sighed the Misto. She gathered up her wits one night to talk to Master Alessandro. Slowly and barefoot, she crept to his living room window and tapped on it. Master Alessandro looked up from the book he was reading. Who's this gorgeous lady tapping on my window at this hour of the night? Wondered Master Alessandro to himself. He unbolted the front door and beckoned for Themisto to come in. Good day, sir. I'm Themisto and I'm your neighbour. I live a few miles away over that field, said Themisto, as she pointed a finger to a distant point in the inkiness of the night. Funny that... I never realized there was a house there. Well, would you look at my manners just talking on? I'm Alessandro. Pleased to meet you. Do make yourself comfortable, said Master Alessandro, stoking the fire that was burning in the hearth. They talked for hours as minutes flew past. The mister grew vaguely aware that she had to leave as soon as possible when the first rays of sun peeked through the windows. Oh dear, I better be off, said the misto. I have some place to be. Shall we meet tonight again? Alessandro replied, saying, Goodness me, myself too. Let's continue later. With that, Master Alessandro led her to the front door and departed peace. Night after night, these two beings met and spoke at length on various subjects. The mist was mostly about nature. Master Alessandro had a niggling question. Why did she only insist visiting at night and not day? However, respecting her, he never mentioned this to her. One day, he decided to cut down the oak tree which was beginning to block the motor path. Two burly men came to cut it down. The job was a long and arduous one, but within three hours the tree was felled. That night, the Misto and Master Alessandro met. He realised that she looked feeble and lifeless. Before he could say anything, the Misto said, Thank you, sir. You have been such a great companion to me, but the time has come for me to fade away. Take care and farewell. With that, she slowly dissolved into a mass of vines at his feet. Master Alessandro stood mystified without realizing that he had just witnessed the death of a dryad. The end. Look out for the gnomes who are rolling in at number 10 tomorrow, children. Nighty night.